Oh my goodness, it's why is it nighttime right now? Hey, we ain't doing that at nighttime. No, 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 no. Go to go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Go to sleep. We'll do the intro while you sleep. All right, everybody. I am Hyro Tolliver, and this is Day Is Gone. We just got done taking Lisa to the camp where she met her old neighbor, pretty much. Grandma from down the street, a couple blocks away. Hopefully she'll be okay, and um, we need to get going to the next one. Also, Boozer did make us some ammo, so we're going to grab this real quick. All right, that's my next destination. It's way over there. It ain't that far. It ain't that far. We're just going to push along. Let's go get my bike, pick some of this Use stuff this. up. Can I even craft anything right now? No, no, everything's good. I can repair this. Got to repair that machete. Got to repair that machete. Oh yeah, cool, I can make some more bolts. Fuck yeah. Maybe some bolts. Yes. Uh, I need At cedar last. sapling. I thought it had cedar sapling. Okay, whatever. I can get some more cedar sapling. That's no problem. No problem whatsoever. Am my bike full? And we're full on gas. Awesome, man. Awesome. Alright, I know there's sapling. Whoa, kind of slippery there. Oh no, I already, I already got those. Alright, so I did get sapling, but it wasn't enough. I'll just, I'll get some more. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't... Remember that car being here. Were these here before? Oh, I just went a different way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, yes, that way. Oh, there's two of them over here. Wait, I thought I went... Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Come on, Deke. Can you use this? All right. And we'll get this one over here. All right. Let's make some bolts real quick. Oh, I can't craft those yet? Why can't I craft these? What What the... What the hell? All right, whatever. Just just whatever. We'll come, we'll come back to that some next time. Whoa, how are there people at that camp already? I thought I got rid of them. I guess there's others just wanting to uh, make notice of that place, right? There's no way somebody should have been there. I thought I took care of them all. All right, I'm full. Okay. We are full. We're good. Let's get going. I don't remember that camp being there. Is there anything there? No, it doesn't look like anything there I can pick up. We got to stick to the trail, people. Stick to the trail. I know I want to go and look at everything, but we got to stick to the trail because we're almost there. All right, why is the music getting all hot and heavy right now? What's going on? So... You want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. <laughs> Buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. I thought I already know how to do this. And see what nature's trying to tell you. Nature's telling me to knock Look you in the goddamn me. face. You'll see the signs. Have you guys ever noticed the crazy ones are always the ones with a scar on their face? Alright, there he is right there. Are you saying something? I guess he was saying something and there is no voice out of it. So I take it Deke was uh was in the Marines or something? Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see some yeah, deer I shit. See it. They lead this way. Yeah, I can see that. Well come on, man. I didn't sign up to hunt for a deer. He's right there! Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now, oh, he's a good looking buck rifle. too. If you were in the tenth mountain, you know how to use a scope. Of course, we know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Also know how my ears are itching underneath my headset. Okay, whatever. Easy, easy. I got this. Or am I, am I going to shoot him in the ass, or should I shoot him in the head when he looks up? I don't know. I want to shoot him in the head right when he looks up. Got him. Come on, come on, come on. What the hell? Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. Just gotta track him. Okay. That should have been a kill shot. Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. No, that was a that was a damn kill shot. They know it. Slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Of course, we've been gutting wolves this whole time. Yeah. Look, Cope, Boozer, and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man and. Yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut it, dear. Well, let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Really? Overall, not bad. For a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Well, how about you just get your truck and we just throw this bad boy in there and you can have your butcher do the rest at the camp. Tell me, I don't know how to gut something, now, I just did it. I'll take back that rifle. Here. Thanks. Like I said, D, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Wait, you just... You're capable of hunting? Whatever, I did all that for nothing. You, uh, need something, man? Yeah, something, man. Manny. Yeah, got some good stuff in stock. 
I do need something, matter of fact. Oh, fuel is 75 cents? Hell yeah, fill me up, buddy. Thank you. I actually appreciate that. All right, all right, I did the engine, I already did that. I need that to be level two. All right, got that on there. Got my frame, gotta be level three. You got a Nas? Currently equipped, yeah. There's nothing equipped from my Nas, okay. And, and, what does that give me? More traction durability? Fuck yeah, we're going to do that. Good choice, man, good choice. Of course it's good choice, because it's my bike. All right. I guess that's as fast as I want to get this thing, unless, unless another mechanic like actually does something for me. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. What's up? What you got in here for your stuff? What's in your specials? All right, so I do have to go to other camps, huh? All right, yeah, I got plenty of credits, cause I ain't going spinning all over here. All right, let's go. Ooh, how's it going, booze man? Shit. Okay, uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunt. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. And yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome, see, Boozer. Out of fresh. That ought to do it. What is that? Oh, okay, yeah. I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Alright, so I guess I do have this to go. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth. Back to Boozer. Hey, we ain't gonna go there yet. We're gonna go do this. Goddamn razor this In our supposed global universe. Instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products, cheap foreign labor, and churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. We built something. It'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. What Our is he talking friends, about? But they do not break, and neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. And nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. Hell, I could use a new bike right about now. What? Yeah, thank you for shouting all that. That's what brought him over here. Bounty. God damn, dude. You were just shouting the whole thing out. Like, just relax. Damn it. So close. Oh, there's a lot over here. Got you. There we go. Got you. Got you. Anybody else? Oh, he's right there. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Let's dance, buddy. Got him. Like, come on, man. Oh, now I, now I can make my bolts. Really? All right, where's that pack? I guess... I guess I could get him. It shouldn't be too bad, right? Oh, I guess we ain't worrying about him. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That was a weird little setup right there. I think I got these new tires. And the transition begins. What is this, like two, three days or something? All right. How much longer are we going to be out here? We're just getting started, so pull your jets, okay? Oh, Brian. Brian, this is going to be it. All right. I guess this is the place, right? I guess this is the place to go see what they're doing, buddy. Oh, there he is. Where is he going? What are you doing? I guess I'll have to get closer, huh? I'll have to get closer to O'Brien. He got a lot of people near him. A lot of people. I can't throw a rock? Okay. I don't... I don't know if we have to, like... Actually hurt these guys. But they are doing something shady. Very, very shady. I think I do need to get close to him, though. Sorry, we'll hit the water a little bit. Hey, Sarge. Dude, there's a there's a camp right there, like. Shit. I guess that was not the way to go, right? Where are they going? He's just standing there. Anyone else hear that? There we go. Heh <laughs> you're stupid. Warm. What are they looking for? What are you doing, O'Brien? Whoa, what is that? Like, you can't see me in here. 
I am so still. Do I need to get up to O'Brien? I think I do. Please let that be O'Brien. Oh, here we go. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. That is him. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Oh, uh -uh, uh -uh. no, no. I just want to talk. No, no, no. Uh, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. Protocol 2-7 states clearly conducting operations in quarantine zones. Yeah, that's O'Brien. Oh, you're O'Brien. No, 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 no. I'm forbidden from making contact. Yeah, yeah. You're going to make contact, all right. See, that sounded to me like... Making contact. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. So where's my wife? How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, two the seven were states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero, for goddamn limb. Come, come, All right, come, listen up. We're gonna do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way. We have let's do, Brian, let's do it the easy way. That I need. Actually, no. Back to digging your let's do the hard way. Shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here, the hard way. Crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yeah. Yes? Okay, okay. Just talk. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes, I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Mm-hmm. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. Yeah. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. What? Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? No. Did she survive? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. Yeah, I do. That's how you, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go yeah, with yeah. you. No, you, you can't. Please don't. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Please don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. Okay. So she is alive. I have to go. Please. You have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan? what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife, but you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Oh, oh, oh Brian. Oh, 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 Brian. Oh, oh, Brian. Oh, oh, Brian, you motherfucker. He pulled out the machete. Come on now. Are they gone? They're gone. Oh, Brian, oh, Brian, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted. He said that he put her on oxygen. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved your life. She can still be. She can. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. If O'Brien's alive, she has to be alive. Whoa. Nick, you there? Who's man? A few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I will tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? <laughs> Soon, those are interesting. Look, as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, okay. She has to be alive. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with me right now. We're a man on a mission. Got your radio on? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you like it. Loser, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by later. O'Brien, are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel? You better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Come on, Ryan. Back to me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up.